you will know how to use this data solver function for other applications as well and in in the other side you will actually know how to design a payment or how to calculate sn values when you are using h2 method of flexible payment design so um, let's go with it now this is if you want to you know calculate the sn number the structural number of an for a new design payment you normally use this equation now what what is this equation is uh, on the left hand side you take the log of the traffic values in east uh, millions easels and on the right hand side you have structural number and that structural number is uh, is a trial number and what you do normally uh, if you don't have any this if you don't know how to use this solver function you plug in different values and try to equate the left hand side the number the for instance that number is uh, Say six point six nine nine or something. So this this number is is what did you want to know by you know selecting uh, the appropriate value of structural number. So that at the end the left hand side equal to the right hand side of the equation. What I mean is that log if you have log w eighteen as value as six point six nine nine. The right hand side should also be 6.699. Now, in Excel, what you can do is you, you input the trial values and you just run a solver function. And these solver functions, uh, you know, keeps on uh, calculating till your left hand side equal to right hand side. But obviously, this cannot be turned manually but you have to devise some strategy the strategy is very simple what you need to do is to you know get the sum of all this value here what i've done is that i you know break this equation into 10 columns and for each of the value if i edit and I comes up with this the sum like sub column eleven is the sum of all these value from uh, column two to column ten. Once this is done, what I have done, I've used the method of sum of square of errors in which I have subtracted this column one from column ten and have a square of this value. Now, in order to use data solver function, in order to use this trial and error value, what we want is that we want this value to be as minimum as it as it is possible. So once this is done, you will alter or uh, uh, once this is done, you will get the true value of your trial number. This this is how this is how you use solver function which you use method of sum of square of errors, right? So this is how, so if I want to calculate SN1, SN2, SN3, SN4, those of you who already uh, are from the pavement area, they know what are SN1, SN2, SN3, SN4. And once you have these values, you take the difference and you will know the value of SN1, SN2, SN3, 4 by using this solver function. It's very easy to use. 
The yellow means you have to put these values and you can put any number, what, whatever you want. And in those yellow boxes, you have to input your data, whatever is your data. And then you just have to run the solver function. So let's go ahead uh, how to use it. For example, I'm interested in knowing the value of SN4. Now, the true value is 4.519. Let's see that I say, okay, not 4.5. I say, it's, if I, I can put any value, say 50. So what is going to happen, right? So if I say 50, obviously, this is, this 50 may not be a true value. I know the true value is 4.519. So let's see how this solver function will help you. So what I go, I will press this person, solver function from the data menu. Kindly note, this solver function is not a default menu. If you don't have this solver function, what you need to do is to go to this file menu, then go to the options, and from options, go to the add-ins, and from add-ins, you select this solver add-in, once this highlight, press OK. I'm not pressing it OK because I already have this. And what you will find that you will find this solver function automatically now on the menu. Okay. Once you have done this, you just open this whole function. Now, your objective, obviously, for calculating SN4 is to make this value, this value as minimum or we can say value of zero. The more minimum it is, the more the, the more accurate will be your calculation. And what you need to do, say you say, I, my objective is to put this value zero by changing this number that I find out. Once I've done this, I just have to press solve. Okay, so you get this value. Similarly, for if I want to know, say, 3 point, if I'm knowing the correct value of SN3, I'll just say put 10. And now I will go to solve a function. Now, since I have to interested in this number, so I'll say this value becomes 0, and I want this number to be changed. Once I've done this, then I'll go to solve a function. And then I press solve, and you can say this number is 3.494. Now, you know, again, if I know to calculate SN2 value, SN2 value actually is 3.086. Let's say I say it's 15. Let's say what is going to happen. Now, I will again go to solve function. Now, I am interested in knowing calculating SN3, obviously. My objective is to get this number to zero by changing the value of this number. This is SN2, and I'll plus solve. And you'll find that correct number. And last but not least, I will find I will need to change this value. Say I say this may be 100. Let's see what happens. And then I'll go to solve function. I'll ch change my objective. This becomes as minimum as I could. And I want this value to be uh, my trial value. Solve. And that's okay. So by using this solver function, you know the value of SN1, SN2, SN3, SN4. And those of you who know pavement design very well, they can easily find the values of D1, D2, D3, and D4. So this is it. Uh, I will, what I will do is I will place this Excel sheet for you in the comment section as well. So you can download as many times as you have. It's free. And it's not only this, this will help you in this subject, but any subject in which you want your optimized value. Thank you.
for listening. Uh, I I encourage you to subscribe me and ask your friends to subscribe as well for uh, more videos on the subject. Thank you very much.